Well, Barbara Liliana Navarrete Lorenzo, or Lily Navarrete, is the newest member to join the Spokane City Council. She's also the first Hispanic woman to hold a position on the council. Marissa Rio shares how she plans to represent marginalized communities. Lily Navarrete isn't only the first Latina to hold a position on Spokane City Council, but she is also the first immigrant to do so. Navarrete came to Spokane in the late 1980s from Mexico City. She told me when her family moved here, there wasn't much representation and it was hard. She hopes to make it easier for others like her. I, I want to represent my community, underserved uh, and marginalized communities. Lily Navarrete has broken the glass ceiling here in Spokane. Navarrete now represents District 2, which includes East Central, a culturally diverse neighborhood. She hopes that other minority groups in the city use her representation to trust that their voice too matters in Spokane. I invite my community and again the underrepresented, underserved to bring their their uh, issues or their problems or their needs uh, because there will there is a voice now there to represent them. Navarrete works for Nuestras Raices, a local nonprofit that provides resources to the Hispanic community. She hopes to make those resources more easily accessible. To earn her position, she went through a two-month process and was chosen over 17 other candidates. But her appointment doesn't come without criticism. The Spokane County Republican Party tweeted that her closed-door appointment raises concerns about transparency. Paul Dillon tells me her appointment followed all protocols to a T. I really take exception to that argument. Uh, again, uh, folks could have attended study session where we publicly did interview uh, the candidates. It was a very open and transparent process. Navarrete begins representing District 2 alongside Paul Dillon starting Monday. Navarrete tells me the resources she hopes to make more easily accessible are things like culturally appropriate food banks, educational programs, and more. She wants to make these accessible to all underserved communities, including the houseless. Reporting in studio, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.